contribute to these scholarships. Some of your uh, dues go to help provide these scholarships. So thank you for coming. We need to keep the arts going in schools. And I'm going to have Julia tell you what she's going to do next year. Yes, I'm going to major in music education at Indiana University. Don't care when suddenly there's a big, tall, terrible 
when Bonnie Brewster called me last week to inform me that she was not going to be able to attend the festival this year, I was saddened that I would not be able to shelter in her warm embrace. But she sends her love to all of us who reunite in Clarinda, Iowa every year, year after year, to honor the memory of Iowa's native son, Alton Glenn Miller. And it's an honor for me to present the uh, Ralph Brewster Vocal uh, Scholarship to Xavier. Uh, and uh, Xavier, we wish you luck uh, and uh, success in all you do. And uh, would you like to share with the audience what your plans are for the near future? Uh, next year I'll be attending NICC just to do some gen ed courses, and then I plan on transferring to a different university at some point for something involving music and theater. I haven't really figured it out yet, but we'll get there. You'll do well, we know. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Xavier. The Glenn Miller Birthplace Society First Place Ray Emerly Vocal Scholarship of $3,000 is given in honor of Ray Emerly, the boy singer with the Glenn Miller Orchestra during the Big Band era. And I'm Jan, his daughter, and I'll be giving the award. Our first place winner of the Ray Emerly Vocal Scholarship is Abby Kate Boshin.
Chapel today. And for me, this is my 14th year. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, the first day I rode into Clarinda, I hadn't been here. I came the year before we started the scholarship. And I swear, I heard the ghost of my father as we pulled into town saying, boy, I thought I was from a small town. <laughs> but what a wonderful, large town in heart it is. So I had to offer the scholarship because I wanted to do what I thought my father would want to do, which is be it forward. So we'd love to hear what your uh, immediate plans are and what your plans for the future are. Uh, so next year, I will be attending Drake University to study vocal performance, uh, which is opera. It's like, definitely like my first love in music is opera. So I'm super excited to have the opportunity to study. We're so excited. What about the future? What do you, what do you see? Well, I mean, a very lofty goal of mine is to perform at the Met. So <laughs> um, hopefully I make it there. The three instrumental scholarships are funded by the generous donations of the Glenn Miller Bird Place Society by members and others. Lori Wolf, who is representing the Miller family today, he is Glenn's uh, nephew, rather, sorry, uh, will be presenting these awards. Introducing for you the third place instrumental award performance. I'm sorry. I'm very clever for this whole thing here. Uh, please greet the lovely Annabelle Bayhage. recovered only a hundred years ago. Bach had left in the 1700s, so that's it's pretty, not that long ago. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it.
Today's second place instrumental award goes to a young lady who's going to need just a minute to get set because she comes with a rather large instrument, but my goodness, is it beautifully played. Please welcome Elizabeth Shepard.
big enough to play <laughs> But she handles it so well just as she did her playing, standing. So it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce our final award winner. It is the first place instrumental and it goes to Cole Polensky. Standards. It's by Johnny Green and it's entitled Out of Nowhere. Thank you. 
Charles Badman has done on the piano. New York University in New York City, and I'll be studying jazz performance. Well, folks, I hope that you have, for this portion of the show, that you have enjoyed not only the artists, the students, and everything that they have offered us, they are the best and the brightest in the country. Remember, this is a national scholarship event. Here. So I'd like to move on to um, another set of awards. Um, the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society that has been here for decades and run on intelligence, Heart, passion, mostly the love of the Miller, the phenomenon, the family, and everything that goes with it. So I'd like to bring to the stage, if I may, uh, they'd like to make some awards of, of, of their own. Uh, please welcome the Vice President of Glenn Miller Birthplace Society, Pat Badansky, and President of the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society U.S., Marvin Megley. This year that we'd like to uh, give a lifetime achievement award, uh, lifetime member, 
she has been helping us again for 25 years or more and helping with our uh, scholarship program. And she just does a wonderful job. Uh, you don't know who it is when I tell you that she plays the piano for lots of people. And, uh, so anyway, I'd like to, uh, to have uh, Linda Navin come up to the stage here, if you will. Ready to go for the next uh, next act or so. I hope you're having a good time. 